All righty, kids, here we go. It's Friday morning. <clears throat> Seems to be the only time I do any videoing anymore. If you're waiting with bated breath for me to give you vlog updates, <clears throat> I'd beg you to not. But uh, you get one today. I'll try to do better. I was thinking the other day how monotonous it really is, but, well, you know, if you're a subscriber, that's what you, sign <laughs> that's what you signed up for. Uh, my my weekly routine doesn't change much. I don't. I try not to change it. But uh, the only unusual thing this week was we did have to go to the VA for labs this week. Wow, what is this coming at me? Uh, let's see how far we can go up here. Oh man. You know, guys, I know it's the middle of the night, but you could have somebody give me a hand with the traffic here. Good Lord. That's not even... What the hell? That's Spectrum. I don't know if you can see all that mess back there, but good Lord. Uh, so anyway, what was I saying? Oh, the monotony of my life. <laughs> so, yeah, there it is. We did have to go to the VA this week. Um... I actually got the VA accounting all done yesterday, and I think I, I think I got everything emailed to the fiduciary officer. Um, I'm sure he'll let me know if I didn't. I'm sure I didn't. Oh, dear. Oh, don't hit me. Shit, that was close. Woo, there was two of them. Oh, wow. Wow. Little, little thumpy thump in the chest on that one. That was close. Um, what was I saying? I see I lost my place again. My place. Yeah, I lost where I was. I lost my train of thought. I lost my concentration. Uh, uh oh, now we got blue flashing lights. What is going on? Did I, uh, that's a different kind of flashing blues. Interesting. Anyway, goodness. So, today's normal, as far as I know, as far as I'm planning. Normal, normal, left to work, recycling, lottery, chiropractor. I may go to the bank. I may also go to the grocery store. I gotta think about it while I'm at work today. And, um, didn't sleep long, worked great. I slept good, just not long enough. I had a hard time going to sleep. And uh, so I'm probably gonna end up taking a nap whether I want to or not. Might as well just give in and, and do it. And then uh, try to get some more cardio. Try to get my legs feeling like legs again. And that's about it for my day. I don't plan on, uh, I don't plan on much else. So. Crock-Pot dinner. Crock-Pot. That's so, so close to Crack-Pot. I feel like a Crack-Pot sometimes with the Crock-Pot. I have never noticed this, how close that is before. One vowel. Anyway. Uh, it's something I don't like in particular, so uh, I don't know what I'm having for dinner, but I kind of at this point don't care. I got a little carried away with some Reese's uh, peanut butter cups last night, and I'm feeling like a like I swallowed a brick. Mmm, God love them though; they're awesome. All right, enough jibber jabber. That's me for today. I may get back at you. I may not. All righty, we are done with the recycling. We are done with the purchase of lottery tickets. We're going to the chiropractor. And eventually I'm going to stop going to the chiropractor, I think, and go back to getting massages. Um, I think their benefit, I think the benefit of massage might actually be better for me than chiropractic. Uh, but depending on today's lottery selection, maybe I'll do both.
<laughs> yeah. Can you imagine if you won like millions? You could have you could have those things for yourself all the time. It's not like it's ridiculously expensive. It's just more than the average person can say, oh, I'm going to do this every month. I'm going to spend this much every month on chiropractic and this month much every month on massage. And this much, much every month on mental health therapy. I got to do two out of three. So at this point I have to decide between chiropractic and massage because <laughs> the mental health is necessary as well. Anyway, work was fine. Whole lot of regulars not there. I don't know what was going on today. It was it was kind of a quiet day. And uh, one of my early morning coworkers, who's uh, pretty sure he's in his 80s. Yeah, he's in his 80s. It's crooked, isn't it? Am I crooked? Anyway, old man, single man veteran nice little farm he brings in things from his gardens and chickens and shares with people everybody loves him uh, but he is a typical stubborn male when it comes to health issues and today he was leaving work at his regular time to go to the hospital for an ablation Damn, bro, you should just have stayed in bed today is what you should have done. But I guess his generation, they just don't think that way. I'm not one to skip out of work easily. But I think if I was having an ablation today, I think I would take off work. I've had an ablation. I know what that's like. It cannot be fun. It can be not fun but anyway good conversations today sad conversations today too many people with cancer cancer really sucks it's scary to think about but anyway I don't want to dwell on that right now so I'm just going to go to the chiropractor. And the first thing I'm going to do at the chiropractor, I'm going to pee. Because i got to pee bad. I should have peed before I left work. But I didn't. Then I went to the bank. Then I went to the recycling. Then I went to the little scratch-offs. And I'm drinking a drink again. And I really got to pee. Sitting here behind what looks to be a very new Nissan Pathfinder Rock Creek Edition. It's pretty nice looking. I wouldn't particularly want a Japanese car of any kind. But that looks pretty good. It's a good size. <clears throat> I need a truck. I use my truck like a truck. But uh, an SUV would be a nice secondary thing if I ever felt like I could afford a secondary car. Again, maybe after today's scratch-offs, I'll change my mind. How much money would you have to have to just freely spend it on a vehicle? Because I really like my truck. I don't necessarily need another vehicle. A couple million, maybe? I don't know. My house needs so much work. Maybe I should get that squared away before I decide I have expendable income besides that. Excuse me. Anywho, I guess that's it for now. Still pretty convinced that I'm going to go home and take a nap at some point. I uh, haven't eaten except for a protein bar. It's just been one of those mornings where I just never kind of got around. In fact, I took my insulin and then didn't eat for like 45 minutes. And it was, the TV was starting to get fuzzy and my legs were starting to feel a little wobble wobble. So I went ahead and ate a protein bar. <laughs> And uh, I'm probably going to eat some more when I get home because I'm still hungry and uh, I'm certainly not going to exercise without eating some more, especially since I did take my insulin before I ate that little protein bar. 
and put my clothes in the put my uh, sheets in the dryer and put the pot roast in the crock pot watch Jeopardy and watch get up and do my scratch offs and fall asleep like I generally do on Fridays so anyway that's all and uh, if anything changes I may or may not let you know